you have found Life in the 1900s Newspapers, where I read the actual words from vintage newspapers. Newspapers are starting to become a thing of the past, but in the roaring 20s where we are today, it was where most of the people got their daily information of news and gossip. I just find it very entertaining that we're looking at footage from over a hundred years ago of these 1920s people. I imagine these people notice the moving camera taking their picture, but they never in their wildest dreams figured that we'd be looking at them over a hundred years later. Well, I see this newspaper salesman would like to make a sale, so let's grab one of the papers and start reading. These newspapers I read are old, faded, and sometimes they have a bit of a damp smell, <laughs> but they're full of hidden treasures unusual stories that I like to scope out and share with you. Today, we're reading the Martinsburg Journal, the two o'clock edition from Martinsburg, West Virginia, dated November 9th, 1928. Let's start today's paper by seeing what's coming to the theaters. At the Apollo Theater, now playing, Harry Langdon, Heart Trouble. Maybe this ain't hot. To see Harry in love makes even the man in the moon laugh, but to see him cutting comic capers in his merriest mirth marathon will make the whole world roar. At the Central Theater tomorrow, William Fox presents Buck Jones in The Branded Sombrero with Leela Hyams, the rugged romance of Roaring West and its heroes. Billy likes Teddy Bear Girls presenting Smiles of 1928, featuring Margie Wright and her chorus of Dancing Darlings, the hottest review type attraction on tour today.
event of Hirohito will involve 12 million expenditure. Ceremony will be completed gorgeously Saturday. Kyoto, Japan. The enthronement of the Emperor of Japan, the oldest and most solemn state ceremony surviving among the modern great powers, is almost the most costly. But it is also the occasion of a regal distribution of largesse, honors, titles, and gifts, unequaled in any other state. According to preliminary estimates, it will cost the Japanese government and the imperial family approximately 24 million yen, or 12 million dollars, to celebrate the accession of Hirohito, 124th emperor, in a manner deemed fitting to the august position in which he has succeeded. Amid the glittering pageantry so dear to the heart of his people, Prince Hirohito, direct descendant of a line unbroken for ages, is crowned the 124th Emperor of Japan. Now, by imperial edict, he must assume the status of the god who walks among men. His subjects believe that to look upon him is to be blinded, to touch him, means death. Hirohito is Japan. A New Yorker at Large by J.D. Seymour, New York. The chances are, at least even, that Al Josen will be seen and heard no more upon the musical comedy stage. The black-faced Mammy singer has been so successful in sound pictures that he has no present plans for returning to the footlights and he announced definitely when he returned from a European honeymoon recently with Mrs. Jolson number three, the tap dancing Ruby Keeler, that for another year at any rate, he would do nothing but make movies. The town of Martinsburg is having a great Armistice Day celebration. It's been 10 years since the First World War ended in 1918. They're having fireworks and speeches, but I think this one is the most unusual. Take a look. Red Men Arrangements. Final arrangements were made Thursday night at the regular council fire of Tuscora Tribe number 50. The Improved Order of Red Men will take in the celebrations in Martinsburg next Monday. The final scene of the stirring and bloodthirsty Indian settler battles, which start at 4.30 Monday evening, will be a tableau, the last of the Tuscarawas, in which, after all the attacks have been staged and the fort is burning, the last Indian, impersonated by Mr. Henry, goes slowly over the hill into the darkness. The sham battle, the fort burning, and the maneuvers of the Indians and the white settlers will be carried out in the growing dusk on the 40-acre natural amphitheater along the Williamsport Pike, just at the northern limits of the city. Pretty twins are debutantes, Eleanor and Louise Miller, twin daughters of former Governor Nathan Miller of New York, are debutantes this season. 